to slide or not to slide? The short answer is, it depends. But many experts believe that image sliders and carousels can hurt your website's UX. Let's find out when you should and shouldn't use sliders. Here are the basic principles to follow. Usability and accessibility. Ever seen those tiny, half-transparent bullets and arrows? Never do that. Use bigger elements with more contrast to the background and your slider will be usable even for people with visual impairments. You also shouldn't hide the navigation elements, because it leaves users with no clue that it's actually a slider. Use arrows, bullets, thumbnail navigation, numbering, etc. to provide visual indicators and give users more control. No auto scroll. Slides changing too fast, dynamic animation, lack of visual indicators, all those will only distract and confuse your user. And if you still have to enable auto scroll, the best you can do is make sure you give users enough time to read your slides and provide a progress bar, showing how much time is left for each slide. Responsivity. No matter how awesome an image slider may look like on the desktop, it might completely mess up the mobile UX. So make sure you optimize the slider for mobile devices or replace it with a static image. One message for the hero area. Using an image carousel for the hero area might be a bad idea for online stores. Your clients might get confused by multiple different messages. If you aim to promote several products, better include a product slider or a product carousel underneath the hero section. Make sure you really need a slider. Actually, when is it a good idea to use sliders? Well, e-commerce websites and marketplaces could benefit from using sliders to showcase new arrivals, hot deals and product categories. Studies suggest that 72% of users do interact with product sliders and product carousels. Testimonial section. If you have six or more customer reviews, you can put them in a carousel or a slider. This will let you provide more info about each individual item without it taking up extra space. Storytelling. Sliders work well when each new slide is meant to enrich the info given in the previous one. As the story unfolds, the users feel the need to scroll further to learn new details. Portfolio. If using a slider really helps you tell a better story and provide a better experience for your site visitors, you could also use a slider to present your work on your personal website. And as a bottom line, use sliders when you actually have something to show. Make it look attractive so it's impossible to look away, but don't overdo it with the animations. And make sure you nail it with the timing and the navigation. So. To slide or not to slide? Every website is unique, so the only way to know is to test. Use A-B testing, set up analytics to measure views and clicks on each card, and the heat maps would help as well. Alright, that's it for this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out templatemaster.com to see stunning website templates and themes with sliders done right. Comment down below if you have used sliders on your website and if they worked for you. Thank you for watching, see you next time.